Yo guys, it's Hacks here. Today I'm bringing you a Critical Ops video. So today's video is pretty much just to show you how to control recoil with different guns. Uh, C Ops does have a lot of recoil and not everyone knows the patterns of each of the guns just yet. So I decided to make this video to help people out. Uh, so today in this video I'll be showing the recoil patterns for all the assault rifles. And we're going to be starting with the SA Free Burst Rifle. So pretty much the recoil for this rifle alone is it's not that complicated um all the bullets when you're standing still will shoot in a circular pattern or pretty much where your crosshair is uh you don't really need to do anything special uh like for a few other guns the recoil pattern gets a lot more complicated but for this gun you just aim at the person and shoot that's that's all you really need to do crouching does increase your accuracy and make the spread tighter so that does help out for longer range but up close you just stand and shoot that works out fine Next we have the AK-47. Now the AK is a bit different than the SA, and by a bit I mean a lot different. Since it's fully automatic, the spray is a lot different. Uh, it starts getting a bit more complicated the longer you fire for, but it's still actually relatively easy to use. Uh, for long range, I recommend bursting in shots of 7, because that's the easiest recoil to control. But up close, yeah, fully automatic. Don't worry, uh, as long as you keep your aim on the person, you should be able to get them pretty easily. Now if you want to try to fully automatic at long range, all you really need to do with the recoil pattern that's shown right now is just flip it upside down, do the exact opposite with your fingers, and that's pretty much how you control the recoil for the AK. It's not actually that complicated, it's just uh, people don't really know the patterns at the moment, so they don't know exactly what to do. Small side note since I forgot to mention it earlier, crouching does help out a lot at long range. It minimizes the recoil. It has the same pattern, but it just makes it a bit smaller. So I recommend crouch whenever you can, and it will help a lot. Next up we have the M4. Now the M4 recoil pattern is actually kind of like the AK-47. The only difference is the M4 fires a lot faster than the AK, meaning it will have the recoil a bit quicker. Now the M4 recoil is actually relatively easy to control. All you really need to do is drag straight down until you hit 9 bullets. Once you go over 9 bullets, it'll start swinging from side to side in a zigzag pattern. So that's when the recoil pattern gets a bit more complicated. But if you shoot in bursts of 9, uh, you'll be good to go. Recoil, relatively easy. It's just a straight line, straight down. And that is it for the M4. After the M4, we have the AUG. Now the AUG is one of the highest recoil assault rifles in the game. Uh, its fast fire rate combined with the randomization of its pattern makes it one of the toughest to control in my opinion. But uh, once you start learning how to control the pattern, it becomes a lot easier to use. Now if you're like mid to long range, I recommend crouching as much as possible just because the recoil for this gun can seem a bit intense. If you're not used to it, your aim could go all over the place just because the fire rate is so high uh, alongside the recoil. For bursting with the gun, I recommend shooting in bursts of 8 bullets uh, just because once you hit 8 bullets, uh, it'll start going from side to side making the sidewards M shape. And bursting with this gun actually helps a lot by saving bullets and also helping you not have to control the extra recoil it has. Next we continue on to the HK. Now since this gun isn't fully automatic, it's a semi-automatic rifle, the recoil is a lot easier to control than all the other guns except for the SA. Um, pretty much to control the recoil for this gun, you just need to drag down and after you go through maybe half of your clip, all the bullets will stay in the same spot, they won't go up anymore. So yeah, it's relatively easy to use and it's a good gun. Um, you can actually burst even slower. Uh, if you tap fire instead of actually holding down the fire button, uh, you will have slightly better accuracy. So uh, try that out. Last gun on the list is the SG. Now a lot of people think the SG has a lot of recoil, but it actually has little to none. Uh, yeah, it does move around a lot, but it's pretty easy to actually control if you know the pattern. So as you see here, the pattern is a circle, almost like a semicircle, going up. All you need to do is drag your finger in the opposite way, downwards, semicircle, and you will be able to control the recoil almost perfectly. Alrighty guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something 
about how to play better in Sea Ops, how to control recoil in Sea Ops. Uh, one thing I didn't point out, this is for if you're standing still, um, if you're walking around, the recoil pattern is the same as that, but it's really randomized because your spread gets a lot larger when you're walking. So, uh, stand still when shooting. Pro tip by Haxer. Anyways, like I said, I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I will see you next time.